hi guys sorry the video is coming a bit late to be honest i didn't think that i was going to be able to put the video out today but i did and well this episode is going to be i think we're going to be starting the champion league knockout stages episode but um this is what conrad zan looks like so far 96 rated 19 year old 39 goals and 19 assists in just 40 appearances in his first season in the premier league that is insane Haaland is on 23 and 13 that is pretty good i think he would have been on more if zan was in this team but you know it is what it is round four of the FA cup is what is coming up next and that is going to be against newcastle there's still going to be the round five before we move into the quarterfinals i believe and then we are we have the um totem hotspur final match in the carabao cup i think that's going to be in next episode i don't think i'm going to get to that date today because it's actually quite far i mean we have it over here and i'm pretty sure there's going to be like two legs of champions league football that are going to pop up before um this date so i mean let's see i don't know if we're going to reach there or not i'm definitely going to be playing the full match of this arsenal match so it's most likely going to be um this match and the second leg of the champions league match and then if we have time still then i'm going to go to the neutral sorry to the um carabao cup final as for the premier league the title race is still on they are three points ahead of us that's west ham they are doing so well this season and on normal circumstances if arsenal wasn't winning i would not want manchester city to win but you know conrad is in manchester city and you know i have to i have to win the premier league in my first season in the premier league so that is that is a goal of mine all right so we have a couple things to do here that okay we can't do that now let's just move on to the match against um, newcastle it's the fa cup and it's against newcastle it's a it's a i wouldn't say it's a big match but it's a match that i wouldn't want to skip so or rather simulate i don't want to risk it to be honest because newcastle is actually decent so i'm going to play the highlights for this and let's see if we can get a win don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already turn on your post notifications there's because there is going to be x25 content every day hopefully that's the, that's the goal but this country is making it really fucking hard to do that man i'm so sorry about that but anyway let's move on all right crossing opportunity for manchester city and i am the one that is on this so let's hope that we can get ourselves okay we're still with the ball maybe please score this oh my god how don't you even score that gluk how don't you fucking score that all right so we have a penalty kick newcastle have already scored so this is going to be tough i'm going top left i don't think the keeper should be able to get this he doesn't the, the shot was just too much for him it was pretty much too much for him and we're going to i don't know why we're going to pep but oh well all right so it's 2-2 two -two. i don't know when we happen to score but we have a counter attack in a really promising position and i hope that oh shit okay oh my god oh crap he's offside already he was outside already and that is just sad but anyway i think we're we have one more chance or two more because i don't really understand how the frick this game works so i'm going to try and get this to Holland or somebody please score it oh my god why didn't you just shoot yourself man why didn't you just shoot yourself all right so Holland, you're looking to be in a good position here i really hope that i can get this in please score this all right i think that should be the win and we should be we should have that in the bag definitely where is he going though okay he's ready to be pep that's good for him all right that's all for the match we get the win please thank you uh, i can't see the freaking that was the last freaking minute of the oh my god these guys are insane all right ederson come on no you don't get it all right so i mean if we bow out of this i really don't care because i mean i tried my best I want to go bottom right. This is risky, but the keeper doesn't do anything about that. All right, so we've done our job. Let's just hope that Ederson and the rest of... Thank you. That's good. Holland, you got this, right? You did. Okay, that was close. That was close. But Ederson, come on. Goncalo Ramos. He puts that in the back of the net. But I think we have the we have the um, upper hand here. So let's just hope... Gee, we're being really fucking lucky here. The keeper is bottling this for them. All right thank you 
Thank you. And this will be the win. Javi Simmons, you got this. Come on. Please tell me you're going to score this. Definitely are. That's good. All right, so we're through to the next round of the FA Cup. It wasn't really that tense, to be honest. I just had a feeling that we were going to win it. And, you know, the keeper fucked it up for them, but I don't really care. What I do care about is how the game almost screwed me over because we, we got that assist at the final minute. So there is no way in hell that um, Newcastle would have gotten would have gotten a win or that there's no way that they would have gotten a goal like there's just no possible way that would have happened but for some reason it happened we got a 9.6 i'm going to be taking the credit for the brilliant performance of that match let's do the media interview now i'm going to go for um maverick as well do we have the maverick thing on 50 percent no we do it's, it's still on 47 well this is still locks power shots and trickster is the trickster thing that i want to be honest that's what I'm going to use for the last one. So I'm trying to get the Maverick up to 50. It's going to be a really, really tough thing to do, but I, I still feel like it's it's doable. Definitely not before the end of the season though, but uh, maybe like at the end of next season, it should happen. But we're going to be simulating this match against Wolves. Let's hope that we do get a win. We do, we get a brace as well. So that is, that is good. We're adding to our Premier League um, tally. And we're actually hunting down that Haaland record in our first season. It'll be interesting for um, two Manchester players to do that. I mean, sm smashing the um, um, goal scoring record in their first season. First Haaland, and hopefully the second one is going to be me. Let's look at how many goals we have so far. We have 24 in how many games? 24 in 25 appearances. All right, so we have about 13 more games to play. And I feel like we should get it. If we get a goal in every game, we should definitely get it. That'll be 37 goals. So, I mean, it's something that should be possible. And I really hope that we actually go ahead and do it. But next up, we have the match against Arsenal. This is going to be a tough match. We already beat them by a large margin in the in the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. Arsenal believe that they can mount a title challenge this season and their credentials will be severely tested in, the, in their next match against Manchester City. We defeated them in their home stadium the last time. Um, that was in the Carabao Cup finals. So, sorry, semi-finals. And I believe that we should be able to do that again. West Ham is still gunning for this thing. They have not lost a match. They are still pushing. I, I think we played. Um, okay, that's one match we played in the Premier League this this um, episode. That's the, the one we just simulated against Wolves. But we're going to train for a bit before we go into the Arsenal match. Like, why is this even a thing? Why would they like suggest this? Like, it makes no sense. I like this one, but I'm going to use this one for just for the significance of the match, basically. All right, we are close to the start of the match, and Arsenal is going to prove to be a a, a menace in this match, to be honest. Because I mean, their midfield is just to die for, man. They have freaking um, Odegaard. They have um, what's his face? They have Odegaard. They have um, Valverde. They have Declan Rice. So that is just a midfield trio that I I love so much. And well, let's hope that we can repeat the same performance um, we had against, what's their face? Against them in the Carabao Cup semi-finals. All right, so they're looking pretty dangerous there. And please don't score this. Or right, nice. Okay, we're with the ball now. Let's see what we can do. Haaland, shit. Oh my God, that's that's my bad. I couldn't pass that to him anymore because it was offside. So I had to like deviate, but you know, it didn't go to who it was intended to go to and that is just bad please don't score this or right, that's a good save from ederson it was my fault i gave up the ball and well, i should i should have just like giving i should have just like gone for the offside regardless please give it to me nice what can i do here holland shit i mean we got we got blocked there so not really nothing that we could have done in that situation Right, Vardio. Nice. Holland. Make your run for it. And shit. That is just too. It was it was uncomfortable for him basically. Right to Holland. Can I score this? Yes, I can. Definitely. And that is the first goal of the match. I don't even know what Holland was doing right beside me there. But I don't know whether that was trying to sabotage my goal, but obviously not. <laughs> Well, it was a really good goal. I honestly didn't think that I was going to um, still keep the ball after that challenge from the defender. I don't know if it was Militao or I don't know who that was. But this challenge, because I thought I had run into the defender. I didn't know that I was still going to be with the ball. But it's really good play from Konrad Zan there. 
And, well, that's the first goal of the match. We are proving to be more dominant than Arsenal in recent times because the first two matches that we played them this season, they beat us. And, well, let's hope that we can pay them back this time around. All right, Arsenal looking really dangerous here. And I'm pretty sure that, okay, they've gone back. But I just need us to get the ball from them and launch a counter-attack or something. Saka is looking really dangerous there. Don't let him shoot, man. Don't let him shoot. Just get the ball from him. Oh, my God. I swear to God, I don't even understand how that is realistic in any way okay, so we have nice Holland. please tell me that's on side please tell me you're on side and why would you go near post why on earth would you go near post there i mean the keep i mean it was it was wide open at the back legit but tell me you can get this you can't all right it gets out to me let's see who will be at the end there Please score this. Shit. That's really good. That's really good defending from whoever that was. But well, Roger can get this back out to me. Yes, he can. Let's see what I can do here. How long you're looking? Alright, I was I was daydreaming there, my bad. But I still have the ball. Maybe. And that is a really interesting deflection that goes out for a corner. Alright, please get this to me. And I will... Ah! The keeper saved it. I can't even see the ball because of the snow, but... Let's try that again, shall we? Let's try that again, shall we? Please. And that's just shit. But I think that is out for another corner. That one was just shit, to be honest. So let's try... Let's try this again. Holland, get ahead on that. That is good. I don't know what the hell happened there, but... Xavi, get this out to me. Yamal, that's a good, that was really good. That's a really good cross. That is a really good cross, man. And, well, we deserve the goal. I don't know why it's really dark. Maybe it's because of the snow, so the ambience is kind of different. But this cross, man. This cross, Yamal, yeah, I mean, that was such a good run. And, I mean, it was a really good header as well. Can we get this to Yamin? I think... I don't know. All right, so, I mean, Koto is there once again, and Yami yeah, Lamal just fucked up that final pass, man. I don't know why he even passed like that. He could have just looked before he passed, but oh well. Half time, we have done really well in the first half. I think we already have a 10 point, 10 point match rating. Really impressive. We have a 9.7, but I mean, we still have done really well. Um, a goal and assist, that's just the highlights of my first half. And it's actually quite shocking that we're getting um, this good a first half against a team like Arsenal, and it's twice in a row at that. Tick Vardio just has Saka's number. Like, nice. Please tell me I can. Holland, what the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Why would you run in that direction? It just made no sense. Don't let Odegaard shoot from there, please. Someone get the ball from him. Nice from Akanji. All right, guys, come on. Release the ball. That just didn't make any sense, man. But okay, so. Nice. Holland. Oh, crap. Right. Guardio. Please get this to me. Nice. The second goal. How do we even miss stuff like that? I actually don't understand till now how the hell we miss stuff like that. That is just crazy. All right. Um, our star is looking pretty dangerous on the wings here. And I can, I can only hope that. Yeah, the defense does really well. But I'm not even going to try and risk that. Just get the ball out to me. Thank you. All right, Holland, you're looking good. But I'm going to give it to Yamin. Hopefully. Oh, God. I can't. I can't. That was my bad. That was my bad. So. Okay, that's my number. So we are going to be going off now for Victor Gyokerez. His name Victor Gyokerez. I have no idea. I think it should be. But anyways, we retired this match with 9.2 rating. All right, let's hope that we get a win. It is, we do. It's a well-deserved win for our team. And I don't know if we're going to get in, if the man of the match seen as we um, got sold out of the match. Um, no, we're not. Next up, we have Newcastle, who is currently fifth in the in the um, um, standings. I'm not going to play this one. I'm going to play the highlights for it. But West Ham finally lost another match. So what we have to do right now is fight for that goal difference and make sure we do not lose make sure we do not lose they finally dropped him dropped off in points and the reason why we're not on top is because we haven't been scoring too many goals or rather i don't even think it's the goals that's the issue i think it's the goals against that's the issue let's take a look at that we have 
30, 26 goals against. Okay, so it's goals because West Ham had a shitload of goals. They've done really, really well. I keep on saying that. Looking at their stats, they've done really well. But sadly for them, this Manchester team does not joke at all. Conrad Zan has scored in every game so far this season. So, I mean, I'm hoping that I can keep that run of form going because he's doing really well. I accidentally enhanced the... Um, we were playing striker. That's impossible. I don't. I doubt. Yeah, obviously. Right, we're starting with the counter attack, and Javi Simmons is looking really good. Please get this back out to me. Ah, oh, no, the defenders just crowded me. I, I just so little that I could have done there. Probably could have like tipped it over them or something. But we have another counter attack. We have Haaland to give. Let's just pass to him right now. First of all. Oh god. Gets to Javi Simmons, who should score definitely, and that is the first goal. One more assist for Conrad Zan in the Champions League. That is good for him. That's a really good goal from Conrad. Sorry, from um, Javi Simmons. And now we have another counter attack. Am I the one with the ball though? Uh no, I'm not. So we could possibly make it run for it or not. What the hell is that? I didn't even call for that pass back. Like, he just did absolute nonsense there. They equalized already. Great. And we have a... I don't know if this is the crossing opportunity or not. But it's not looking like a crossing opportunity, to be honest. Uh, I probably should have, could have passed to Haaland. I don't know why I didn't. But sometimes you just have to do what you want to do, man. It's a another um, counter-attack. Haaland is looking really good. But they're going to pass to me, obviously. Yamin... Nice. Please, that is brilliant. And that is our goal. That is actually a really, really nice goal from Conrad. I wish I could see the replay. Well, he did really well to get to get to the side of the defender. And he just took the defender out of the equation, to be honest. So next up, we have another City attack. And we need to score this no matter what. I don't know how we want to do it, but we need to score it. What the hell is Haaland doing there? Why is Haaland doing that? I swear to God, if they equalize this match, I would have strangled this motherfucker to be honest but anyways they did not and we got another goal another assist and well it's a really good match for us so i tried to go to the um replay viewer to look at the match to look at that goal that conrad Dan scored and my game has frozen <laughs> oh my god that's just that's just very annoying like i'm not even going to try and play that match again to be honest i'm just going to simulate it and hope that we get a win because i've already like spent time playing the match already so i can only like i want to simulate it i hope that um i score i don't know if i don't care if i assist or no i just want to score in that match again so it's something that i believe that we should do we're hoping that match so it's something that um should be possible so i'm going to be crossing my fingers hopefully we can get the win in this match we do the same result actually but this time Haaland scores i don't know if we um equalize Sorry, I don't know if we assist. What the fuck? I don't know if we assist in that match, but we don't get our match objective. Though. We got it an 8.2. All right, that's cool. But anyways, that's just like one goal added to our um, goal difference. But I mean, we're still... They won their match again. So we're still, you know, behind pretty much. Thanks to that stupid ass goal difference that I want to just demolish. I want to beat a team like 10-0 or some shit like that. So anyways, we have the match against Fulham next in the... Um, round 5 of the FA Cup. Hopefully we can get a win in this match. I do not want to go out to the FA Cup, but I don't think we should lose this match. No, we don't. Alright, so we score yet again on Haaland as well, so that is good for the both of us. Alright, so we finally have um, Champions League action. Let's look at the round of 6 here real quick. We have Fiorentina, so this should be a pretty easy... Whoops. This should be a pretty easy um, fixture for us, to be honest. So Feyenoord is going up against the Leverkusen. Oh, let's look at the players first. Um, oh my god, they beat Dortmund. And then Arsenal are through... Fenerbahce is through, Newcastle is through, that's good for them. And I keep on moving to the bloody Europa League. Um, Villarreal, PSG is through, Allegri Club won on penalties over Nice. Porto is through, good for them, and Ajax. Alright, that's good for them. So for the round of 16, we have Feyenoord versus Leverkusen, PSG versus Inter Milan, that's Lombardia FC, Fiorentina versus us, Manchester City, Arsenal versus um, AC Milan, Fenerbahce, Real Madrid, Newcastle, Atletico Madrid, FC Porto and Barcelona, then Allegri Club and Bayern. So the playoffs actually gives the smaller teams a chance to actually get to the round of 16 of the 
quarterfinals and if they're lucky they can even like upset the bigger teams and you know do something crazy so anyway this first leg i am not going to be playing it because if you're Tina, i feel like even if we lose it we have a higher chance of defeating them in the next leg because i'm going to be playing that one for sure um we're going to jump to result here let's hope that we get a win which we should we don't it's a draw we get a brace that is two more goals in the um champions league for conrad zan and well i mean he got the money the match here again so next up we have the match against tottenham hotspur in the um premier league and i believe that we should be able to win this match let's look at the premier league table real quick west ham is still on top Sorry, I want to look at the calendar rather. So, um, we have the Fiorentina match. Then we now have the um, Spurs match. But I think I'm actually just going to play the Spurs match at the beginning of the next episode. Because I want to get this video out today. Because it's already pretty late. So, I want to get this video out today. Just so that I can like move past it and all. Your player of the month. Good. Um, thank your fans for all their messages of congratulations. We're going to be trading this match because our manager rating is quite low. I'm actually thinking of doing something with the manager rating starting next season um you know that we're always training so it just always goes up so i would like leave the manager rating up to the matches that i play if i if i play a bad match it goes down if i play a good match it goes up and if i happen to go back down to the subs all the best for me i'm going to try hard for that note to happen so i'm going to start that from next season though but we do have spurs now and this is going to be a rather challenging match we are really really trying to get ourselves up to the top of the table with the goal difference but west ham is making that really fucking difficult because they keep fucking winning their matches with really interesting margins but i mean it's pretty much the same margins that we win ours so we're kind of stuck all right we're starting with a counter attack and we just need to calm the fuck down and um, we're looking like we are in shooting range so that's exactly what i'm going to do the keeper does make a save though i don't know why the shot was that bad to be honest but we have another crossing opportunity and i don't know if how is going to make his run into the okay he does but we're going to be giving Javi Simmons, who does make the goal, but, you know, he's offside, so that's too bad for us. And we have a um, free kick this time. We haven't scored a free kick yet. And this is a very, very interesting free kick to give me. And I'm going to take it. I'm going to take the bloody free kick. And I can really hope that I, I get a goal here, finally. Shit, it's just, just, there's just not enough height on it to even bother the keeper i need to put it in that top corner all right can we get past these defenders we should be able to nice nice yamin please score this all right that's a good shot but the keeper was able to match it with a good save and we have another crossing opportunity spurs have already got their second their first goal and we just need to be able to Okay. Can we? Oh, crap. The keeper was scrambling there, but we have um, one last chance pretty much to equalize. And I hope that we can to save my life. Please score this. Please score this. Thank you. All right. So that is um, one goal. I hope that we have another chance with this match. No, we don't. And we draw the match. A very annoying draw. But, I mean, we saved ourselves there at the end. So, where exactly does that put us in the Premier League? West Ham. Okay, so they haven't played their match. So, they either lose or draw their match. That's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm really hoping for. If they win, so if they draw, they're going to go back on top because of goal difference, which sucks. But, I mean, right now, we just have to focus on the next match at hand, which is the one against Fiorentina. All right, Champions League round of 16, second leg action. We drew the first leg in their home stadium. They put up a really good fight against a juggernaut like Manchester City. But I believe that we are we should definitely get ourselves a win in this match. I'm um, getting a cross success rate of 25%, get a conversion rate of at least 70%. i am going to stick with the crossing one, even though I'm pretty sure I'm not going to cross one bit in this match, but... It's just the most sensible one to um, pick. So, well, let's start. All right, boys. Keen looking really dangerous here. Don't let him shoot. That's a good block from Akanji. And let's try and support. Nice. From Haaland. Please score this. You definitely have this in the bag. Definitely. And you're Haaland. You're not going to miss that one bit. So, that is the first goal. I mean, well, there's a lot of tomfoolery going on. We're losing possession left and right. Both teams. And, well, Haaland finally got the loose ball. And, well... It was it was important that he got the goal there though. 
All right, so they're looking really dangerous here. That's going to be a goal, definitely. All right, so um, it was quite stupid. I don't know where the hell my defenders were. Sterling is a Fiorentina. That is crazy. All right, that <laughs> I was not expecting that in, in a million years, to be honest. But when I saw Sterling, I was like, okay, that might be a different kind of Sterling. But it's, it's the same one in the flesh. Holland, nice. Please score this. Oh, my God. Why did he take so much time? It was such a really, really good pass the dink into him i don't know what the hell he was thinking but yamin come on get this to me get this back to me thank you Haaland, see you please score this and to keep i was able to get there before you sadly nice from Haaland. please score this definitely we do and that is 2-1 we get yet another goal in the champions league and i think my dream of chasing that top scorer is back i think we have 10 goals and the um the um, record is 17 goals so we have seven more goals to score between now and the finals if we do make it to the finals which i hope we do we should be able to do that with this um city team was well, a good goal though from conrad zan set it really well the keeper had no freaking chance with that oh no all right so how did they even get there that fast man but, okay, so we have a chance for a counter-attack. We haven't really had one in a long ass time. But please get this to me, someone. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, so the boy's with us, right? He's with us. And what? What the... F nice pass from Audrey. Nice to get past the defender. Haaland, the defender has caught up to a 90... But did you guys see that? Did you guys actually see that? Like, I am a freaking... I have 95 pace, 94, whatever. And the, there's no way in hell that defender has more... I, I can bet my life that there's no way that defender has more pace than me. Look at this. What the fuck? I completely leave him in the dust. Like, chill. I completely leave him in the dust. And I boost. And for some reason, I didn't even slow down. I slowed down because I saw he was catching up with me. And, and what the fuck? They're just so much faster. I don't even understand how the fuck that is possible. All right, Sterling is looking really dangerous again. So let's hope that he doesn't score. That's a good save from Ederson. And I just need us to get this out to whoever. It doesn't have to be me. Because there's no way we're going to be getting a counter from this. All right. Um, they're still with the ball though. Nice from Yamin. But that is going to be blown for halftime. That was really good from us. Guardio, come on nice can we score this definitely we should and uh, no we don't yamin does get there on the rebound though and that is a really good shot from yamin lamar hey that is brilliant that is such a good pass that is such a good pass and i don't know i don't know i don't understand how the fuck that is just a thing bro that is so annoying okay nice but can we get a goal here the keeper makes a good save and that goes up for a corner that is actually so annoying i don't understand how that guy can catch my player it just makes no sense all right let's try this the keeper makes another good save that was a really good save rodri do you have this in the bag you don't nice i think we have this maybe definitely all right <laughs> that was that was really really unnecessary to be honest really fucking unnecessary but i mean it's, it's something that we, ha we just had to do I, I just wanted to do it man and we did it so <laughs> it was it was straight at the keeper it was through his legs so that was really unnecessary because he could have easily blocked that because we're already through i don't know why i just decided to just do a fucking skill but it is what it is we got to go and well that's what that's what matters basically no, don't let them score this that's a good save from Ederson. And we have a chance for a, what do you call it, a counter here. So let's hope that that is going to be the case. That is if the defenders don't even like... Shit, 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 shit. We actually do save that. Nice. No, it's not nice. Sorry, that was my bad. This is such, such a shit pass. Alright, that's a good pass to Haaland. Can he make... A shot here, definitely you can, and that is another assist for Konrad Zahn. Did really well to get that pass to Haaland. I was not expecting him to actually... So how does Haaland actually run past the defenders? How does he do that? Like, why are they not catching up to him? Like, that just makes... I don't understand that one bit. Like, how? Because I can bet that I'm faster than Haaland, definitely. And I just don't understand. I just don't understand this game. 
to save my life. I can't, I can't understand it, man. Nice hat, hat trick, maybe. Definitely, yes, that's my hat trick. And yeah, so it's such a wonderful European night. And that is that is that has been a really really good goal for for Conrad Zan. My camera just died. Sorry about that. So I'm going to end the episode after this. Um, well, I already said that after this match. All right. So ten point zero match rating and a hat trick. So that is two skill point allocations from my player. I don't think I'm going to work on the strength still, but we come off for Oscar Bob. That's a really really good um match that we played there six one is crazy. I didn't even know we scored that much. We got a goal. We assisted Holland. We assisted. Um, okay, we didn't assist Lamy Yamal, it was a rebound, and we are still Haaland twice. So, three goals and two assists. That is such a good match from Konrad Zan. We didn't get majority of our objectives, though. Our conversion rate was 50%. I mean, we still did really good. We didn't cross at all. Exactly, that's what I was saying. I was not going to cross at all in the match. So, next up, we have the Spurs match in the Carabao Cup. I'm not going to be playing this one. I'm going to save that for the next episode it's going to be a really really interesting match you guys should definitely stay tuned for that i keep on looking at the camera even though i know he's dead um west ham drew their match as well so we are so lucky that happened but they still have um high goal difference so we have next episode to try and pick up from where we left off in this um, episode because our form this episode has been magnificent and in case you guys want to know who we're going to be playing in next episode's um champions league games it's going to be um, they haven't said it yet, but they've actually showed me already in the calendar. So let's let me just show you guys. It's against AC Milan, and it's going to be a tough one. Probably we'll simulate the first and play the second, or the other way around. But this is the end of the episode, guys. Let's look at our stats for this episode. We have reached 50 goals. So um, I think that is 11 goals that we scored in this episode. So that is one more than the amount that we scored in the last episode, pretty much. Haaland has also got 29 goals. So that's good for him. Um, 50 goals in 48 appearances is crazy. We have five more goals to get to the to equal Ronaldo's record in the Champions League. So I believe that we should be able to do it. I feel like we should be able to get past AC Milan. They're a good team, but I feel like we're a way better team. So um, 50 goals, 23 assists, that's 73 goal contributions in 48 games. That is insane. And well, so that's the end of the video. If you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified on when I drop new videos every day. And um, I'll see you guys in my next episode. Peace.